What if I told you that a single molecule could unlock the secret to a longer life and yet it's banned by the FDA? Hi, I'm Caroline from Health News. Our research team dug deep into the science of this controversial compound that is making waves for its potential for a longer life. Stick around because this could change everything you thought you knew about living longer. NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide is a naturally occurring nucleotide found in small amounts in various foods, such as avocados and broccoli. However, within our bodies, NMN primarily derives from vitamin B3. NMN is crucial because it serves as a direct precursor to NAD+, or nicotinamide adenide dinucleotide. It's a coenzyme that plays a vital role in numerous biological processes. NAD plus is essential for cellular energy production, DNA repair, and maintaining overall cellular health. As we age, the levels of NAD plus in our bodies naturally decline, and this is related to various age-related health issues. By supplementing with NMN, we can increase NAD plus levels and support healthier aging. That's the basic theory on NMN. But how does NMN work in our bodies? NMN operates at the cellular level by directly contributing to the production of NAD+, a molecule that is vital for the proper functioning of our cells. Once inside the cell, NMN is converted into NAD+, through the action of enzymes called nicotinamide mononucleotide adenylate transferase. NAD+, supports cellular metabolism by acting as a coenzyme in critical pathways such as glycolysis, the tricarboxylic acid cycle, and oxidative phosphorylation. These processes are critical for generating ATP, the energy currency of the cell. As NAD plus levels decline with age, mitochondrial function may become compromised, leading to reduced energy production and increased oxidative stress. By increasing NAD plus levels through NMN supplementation, we can potentially restore mitochondrial function, thereby supporting cellular energy production and overall vitality. Now, NMN is not the only precursor to NAD plus. Vitamin B3, commonly known as niacin, also plays a significant role in NAD plus biosynthesis, but it follows a different pathway. Niacin is converted into NAD plus through a series of reactions known as the Price-Handler pathway. This pathway is crucial for maintaining NAD plus levels, especially in tissues when the demand for NAD plus is high. While niacin is effective, it requires more steps to be converted into NAD plus, which may be less efficient compared to NMN. Another important precursor to NAD plus is nicotinamide riboside or NR. Like NMN, NR is converted into NAD plus inside the cell, but it follows a slightly different pathway. NR is first converted into NMN by an enzyme called nicotinamide riboside kinase before it can be transformed into NAD+. This pathway, known as the salvage pathway, is particularly important in cells that have a high turnover of NAD+. While both NR and NMN ultimately boost NAD levels, the biochemical pathways and their efficiency in doing so may differ. It's important to understand that NMN, niacin, and NR all contribute to the body's NAD plus pool, but they do so through different mechanisms. Depending on the individual situation and the specific cellular environment, these precursors might work independently or synergistically to support cellular function. NMN, niacin, and NR each play a unique role in the complex network of NAD plus biosynthesis. By understanding these pathways, we can better appreciate how increasing NAD plus levels through different supplements might impact our longevity. Scientific research on NMN has primarily been conducted in animal models and in vitro studies, offering intriguing insights into its potential benefits. One of the key findings from this studies is NMN's ability to boost NAD plus levels in blood, which appears to play a role in improving health. For instance, in aging mice, NMN supplementation has been shown to restore SIRT1 activity and reverse age-related arterial dysfunction by decreasing oxidative stress. These benefits suggest NMN may be a promising intervention for age-related diseases like cardiovascular disease. Human studies also highlight NMN's potential to enhance physical performance. In one study, NMN increased aerobic capacity during exercise in recreationally trained runners likely by improving oxygen utilization in skeletal muscle. Furthermore, NMN has been found to have protective effects on cardiovascular health by potentially reducing arterial stiffness, 
and improving vascular function, which may be important in preventing the development of age-related cardiovascular disease. Perhaps most compelling are the studies suggesting that NMN may help extend lifespan. In animal models, NMN has been linked to increased longevity, primarily by reducing oxidative stress, improving DNA repair, and maintaining mitochondrial health. These factors are all crucial in slowing the aging process and extending the healthy years of life. Despite the growing interest in NMN, its use as a dietary supplement has been met with controversy, primarily due to a recent FDA decision. The FDA has banned NMN from being marketed as a dietary supplement, citing ongoing investigations into its use as a potential drug. This regulatory action has sparked intense debate within the longevity and biohacking communities. Many see NMN as a promising anti-aging solution that is now being restricted. One of the key concerns surrounding NMN is the lack of comprehensive human studies. While animal research shows great promise, we still lack conclusive data on how NMN affects humans in the long term. Questions about its safety, optimal dosage, and efficacy remain unanswered, and this has led to skepticism from certain researchers. Critics like Dr. Brad Stanfield argue that promoting NMN without extensive human trials is premature and potentially unethical, particularly when it was marketed to consumers as a proven anti-aging supplement. The NMN human studies have been overwhelmingly disappointing. What they're likely experiencing is the placebo effect, and that's exactly why we do these studies, to make sure that it's not just a placebo effect that we're experiencing. And so far, there doesn't appear to be any further benefits beyond that placebo effect. On the other hand, Experts like Dr. David Sinclair advocate for NMN based on his own research and personal use. He believes that NMN's ability to boost NAD plus levels could be a key to slowing the aging process and improving overall health. And so I know from measuring dozens of human beings that if you take NMN for the time period that I do, I've been taking it for years, but if you take it for about two weeks, you'll double, on average, double your NAD levels in the blood. Okay, that's not public information. That's from clinical trials that are not yet published. However, even Sinclair acknowledges that more rigorous human trials are necessary to fully validate these claims. Ultimately, the debate over NMN highlights the tension between scientific optimism and regulatory caution. Now, if you're interested in exploring other options, I recommend checking out our videos on NMN alternatives and comparison between NMN and NMNH where we dive into other compounds that might also increase NAD plus levels and support healthy aging.